Hi kids, I'm Mr. Daniel. Today in our ABC is of God series at the Met, we're on lesson 38, Loving God. I hope you'll enjoy it. Why don't we dive into the PowerPoint? So here's our title slide, and we'll start with our opening prayer. Dear Lord, I ask that you would help me to teach this lesson about loving you. There's a great joy to be had for anyone who truly loves Jesus Christ. Please open the hearts of all the children listening to today's lesson to understand this very simple truth. In Jesus' name, amen. When you feel and act, in special ways towards someone, that can show how much you love him or her. Look at this photo of a nice family. We've got what looks like a grandpa and a grandma and these three grandkids. And it's very clear from this photo that they love each other. They're holding each other and smiling. Here's some of the people that I really love. There's Jackie, my wife. And my daughters, Claire and Sophia. Uh, my friends. My siblings, my brother and my sister. And my brother-in-law. My parents. But is something missing here? It seems like the biggest piece of my heart doesn't have a name on it. Do you know what name goes there? Well, in Deuteronomy 6, 5 in the Bible, it says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your might. So did you see who I was missing on my slide? It was God, wasn't it? But wait, I gave hearts away to my family and my friends. But this, this verse from Deuteronomy, how much does it say I should be loving God? Let me help you by showing you a few of those words. All, all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. So we're supposed to love God with all our hearts. Does that leave any love left over for anybody else? Hmm. Well, to learn a bit more about this, we're going to look at today's theme, which is loving God. You see, loving God is knowing and feeling and treating or acting God as your greatest treasure. So you think it and you feel it and you do it. God is your greatest treasure. If we jump into the Bible in the book of Matthew, we find this verse. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's very similar to the Deuteronomy because Jesus is referring to that. In Mark, another one of the Gospels, Jesus says, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So we have the same message. And finally, in Luke, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Hmm. So the way to think about this is Jesus and God is like the greatest treasure you could ever have. And you have to love it completely. Remember the image we had of the treasure beyond, beyond all understanding, a great treasure. A month ago, we actually learned about a story about a special pearl, the pearl of great value. 
where a man was willing to sell everything he owned to get it. Do you remember that? It's from Matthew as well. And even the disciples, some of them. Do you remember Jesus said, come and follow me and I'll make you fishers of men? And they just left their nets behind. They left everything they had to follow him. So the person who is worthy of our love and who we have to love with all our hearts is Jesus. He's the great treasure. And when you love someone with all your heart, what does that mean you'll do? Well, Jesus said, if you love me with all your heart, you will obey my commands. And the greatest command that Jesus gave is he said, love your God. So love me with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. So that problem I was worried about, which is that if I give God all my love, what's going to be left over for my family? It's not a problem at all. You see, when we love God completely, he gives us the Holy Spirit and a new heart, which is capable of more love, of a greater love than ever before. And by loving Jesus, we obey him. And he says, well, love your neighbor, love your family, love your friends. Love your brothers. Love everyone. And so, in fact, by loving Jesus, we love everyone. It's really amazing. Here's your memory verse this week. It lets us remember that God is our great treasure. He's beyond all value. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there's nothing on earth that I desire besides you. When we're in heaven, God is the only treasure. And even while we're on earth, we cannot get distracted by toys and things of value because the greatest treasure in our lives is our relationship with Jesus Christ. And the greatest thing we can do is to love him with all our heart and from that love will flow more love for other people and great happiness. And of course, eternity with Jesus in heaven when we follow him. Let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, I just thank you that you loved us first. And only because you loved us first and sent your son to die for us on the cross, are we able to love. Our love flows from you. And when we love you, Lord, that love pours onto all our friends and family and our neighbors and our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, my prayer is that the children in the Met Sunday School and beyond will love you, will truly love you as their God and obey your command to love others. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the lesson for this week. I hope you enjoyed learning about how important it is to love God and to have a relationship with Jesus. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me
Darkness to every moment. 